I have a spreadsheet that I can probably post here and a picture that shows kind of a breakdown of what card I bought, what condition it's in, how much I bought it for, where I bought it from, um, the number card in the set. So they're all, those are all things to help me kind of keep track of it. The thing that I found obviously is that you can get better deals on 1954 tops specifically. And if you guys aren't familiar with what they look like, check them out here. This is what some of the commons look like. I'll show some of these. Um, but so these commons will run roughly about five bucks a card when you're buying one at a time. If you want to get them in pretty nice shape, like VG to VGX. Um, if you want to get them for under five dollars a card you got to be thinking about how can i buy these cards in bulk so i've actually found through a lot of my sourcing people just aren't really familiar with facebook as a marketplace for buying and selling collectibles a lot of people go to ebay but i've found that if you can join a really good facebook group with you know quality people that aren't going to scam you there's a lot of really good deals to be had because you're going to save money on taxes you're going to save money on shipping fees oftentimes uh, and the process to me has been a lot uh, less seamless. So I'm in a couple of different vintage baseball collector groups on Facebook, and I've been having a blast with it.